Good morning, boys and girls. Great news. My test came back later yesterday, and I'm negative, so that's wonderful. The unfortunate part is I still have to be isolating, but I'm kind of moving around out of our bedroom right now. Nobody's upstairs, so I wanted to show you a couple of things I'm going to do today. So, first of all, I know because we're in a new house, there were so many things that happened over summer. For example, I was asking people, where should I put my coffee pot on the counter? So I'm going to show you because this is an important problem to solve. Where do you put your coffee pot in the new house? Okay, so here comes the camera. Okay, so I'll back up a bit. There's my cup. And it's sitting kind of right in the corner by my fridge. <laughs> that way I have it for close to getting the cream. And I also thought it's got to be close to the dishwasher because you know then I don't have to drip across the floor okay uh, here's the floor oh there are my carrots yeah that's later for lunch fun times okay so I wanted to show you something I'm doing today that you might want to do you can see my reflection I'm going to open the oven now and I am baking baking some pine cones that I collected a while ago um, why you need to bake them is because sometimes they can have little critters in them. I know. So you can see them in there. So if you want to, oh, you're just seeing my legs, too funny. Okay, well let's keep going. So you must bake your pine cones before Christmas crafts. Now we're going in the pantry and I have to show you this. This is where, see these containers here? That's where I was writing on the wall. Remember I told you I was being silly and I wrote on the walls, but now it's all covered up, right? So. Now we're gonna keep going. Mr. Sander built me a spice rack. I know it's so exciting, right? Moms like this kind of stuff. So why are we going through here? You don't need to see my washing machine, but I wanted to show you what I finished. So there it is. There's my lockdown and isolation rug. But if you can see by where the vent is on the floor, I'll stick my toes in there. This area here, it's not perfectly, um, perfectly square right that's sort of a trick with these with these rugs especially like if I was working at the kitchen table I would have had a, a nice flat surface to help me keep it straight so I think I might come and sit on the floor today and and make this part see where my finger is like that and level it off somehow yeah and make it nice make it nice and straight. So that's something super, super exciting. And guess what? I also found a spot to hang the Christmas angel. I know, here it comes. So either on the front closet, one of those doors, or I thought, hey, I should put it on the pantry door. I know, because there's our cross from the old house. You might remember that one too, hey? I have one like that that my dad made me in the music room. And you guys always ask, why is it chewed up on the bottom, right? because of beavers and spots like this where you can see the edges are a bit rough because my dad found that wood along the river hey so yeah that's some some exciting things about our about our new house and here's my granny sewing machine sometimes i talk to you guys about that that's how i actually learned how to sew was on that machine anyways i'm just going to turn it around have a seat and talk to you a little bit so i um I will get to come back to school on the 26th, not the 30th. I think I just said that in my video yesterday. So I've got a few projects to keep me busy. Of course, I'm making YouTube videos, um, even though I think it's Mrs. T or Miss T is at school doing my job. You're really lucky to get a guest teacher right now. So she's actually teaching you guys some of the same things I was gonna do if I was there with you. Our body percussion, our rhythm reading, some things with instruments of the orchestra, so that's kind of neat. And some of you get to do some totally brand new things that I was um, cooking up, shall I say. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get going, go pour myself, um, yeah, I'm guilty, this could be the second cup of coffee, I know. That's not that bad. You know, it's almost, it's almost you know, 9.30. So I think that's pretty fair. But I could say I'm on just my second cup of coffee. You guys might still be in heading into your second class. Some of you might be heading out for recess. And some of my buddies who are doing at home learning, you might be already finished, you know, part of your lesson this morning too, right? So 
I will maybe take a picture when I get the rest of the rug finished. Maybe I'll show you what I'm doing with those pine cones once they're finished baking. So as far as jobs for you today, what could you be doing? Well, looks like it's a very nice day today. I did just step outside to sort of feel, feel the fresh air on my skin. I think it would be, if you're at home especially or after school, a good day to go to a park for a walk and pick some pine cones yourself. There are so many things on Pinterest, it, it is insane the things that you can do with pine cones. Just don't forget to bake them, okay? Because um, you don't want little critters crawling all around um, maybe your kitchen, right? I'm not sure what the little critters would be. I'm thinking maybe little baby spiders or something like that, right? Who love the pine cones. So, anyways, coffee time now. Mm -hmm, I know, coffee at the end of the video, not beginning. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hugs. Bye-bye. Love you all.